Hello, this is Ishmael Zaddi and welcome to my second episode of the Java on MySQL tutorials. Um, this tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to create a table and hopefully we can um, access or send information to it using Java. Okay. Um, to do this, you're going to go to your PHP MyAdmin and you're going to select your database or your yeah your database that you created and we're going to go to SQL and we can create the table using Java um, however this will be much easier so we go create okay create table and we're going to name our table so let's say let's call it members okay or anything you wish then we're going to open two um, brackets we're going to open brackets <laughs> And what we're going to put between here is going to be like, for example, in Java, it will be like our data. So here we have, like, for example, three variables of string. In MySQL, it's going to be very, very similar. So what we're going to do is we're going to name it, and I'm going to use name, okay? And this is going to be type string. So we go varchar, varchar, and open and close brackets while we create them and what we're going to put between here is going to be our memory allocation so let's say we're going to allow 30 bytes okay um, I know probably there's names that are longer than that um, so you want to put something like 120 or something um, so yeah and one thing that we want to do and we face this a lot when we're filling up forms online is that um, we don't allow users to not input their name or date of birth or etc so what we're going to do here is go not null okay so this this allows it so it can't be null it has to be for example it has to be um, filled up and what we're going to add next is the typical surname if those guys who've been watching my previous tutorials they know I use this example a lot <laughs> and we're going to go 30 not null and yeah and we're going to add um, something unique email varchar and let's say this is going to be 50 okay and not not okay and we're going to add a primary key a primary key is basically um, something that would we, we can't have duplicates of so we can't have duplicates of um, in this example we can't have duplicates of the same email that would be extremely rare so it would be realistic to put a primary key on the email because not everyone has the same email so to do this primary key and we go email and voila that's it it's done okay and when you're finished and done you go go and it creates it for us there's usually an output message there but went quickly and if you go here yeah so here it says my screen returned an empty result set blah 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 so we have our name surname and email and hopefully in the next tutorial I will be looking at um, accessing and adding data to it okay and thanks a lot guys and stay tuned